Here again is the probability table. Let's fill in the table with the information that the problem provides. The probability of on-time delivery by service A is given to be 0.9. The probability of on-time delivery by service B is given to be 0.8. And the probability of on-time delivery by both service A and service B is given to be 0.75. Note that probabilities that involve just one of the services, like probability of A or probability of B, sit in the margins of the probability table. And probabilities that involve both services, like probability of A and B, sit in the body of the table. Next, we complete the margin by simply applying the complement rule. If the probability of A is 0.9, then the probability of not A must be 0.1. If the probability of B is 0.8, then the probability of not B must be 0.2. Note that both the row totals and column totals sum up to 1. Next, we start completing the remaining three cells in the body of the table by making sure that we get the right totals. The probability of A and not B, the probability of on-time delivery just by service A and not by service B, must be 0.15 since the total of this row is 0.9. Similarly, the probability of B and not A, the probability of on-time delivery just by service B and not by service A, must be 0 0.05 since the total of this column is 0 0.8. Finally, the remaining cell representing probability of not A and not B, the probability that the document will not reach its destination on time since both services fail to deliver it on time, must also be 0 0.05 to fit the totals. Here is the completed two-way table of probabilities for the delivery example.